dazu. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wiki Word. I'm Naquan James. Today we're doing a new segment on road rage. Road rage is very serious thing for people not just that are driving but people that are pedestrians you know uh, people die all the time from road rage this is whether or not somebody shoots gets out the car shoots somebody or somebody ends up in an accident um, CBS News did a report about road rage when um, something happened a couple weeks ago there's a chain reaction of cars a motorcyclist was cut off um, from a car. So what does he decide to do? Well, you'll see in this video. Take a look. In this video, you see a motorcyclist kick the driver's side door of a Nissan sedan. The sedan then swerved and hit a cement divider, bounced out into traffic, and slammed into a pickup truck, causing it to flip over on this busy Southern California freeway. Okay. Traffic collision person's trapped up on 14 at Newhall Avenue. I have a gouge up in my head somewhere. Uh, the driver of that truck, 75-year-old Carlos Benavidez, was rushed to the hospital. I saw my world coming to an end, to be honest with you. When I felt the impact and I, my truck spun out from beside me and I started to roll, I saw nothing but asphalt and, and sky. You thought you were going to die. I honestly did. <gasps> We reach Chris Traver, the man who shot the video from the passenger seat of another car by phone today. Okay, he says it. he began recording when he saw the freeway fight over a lane change suddenly shift into high gear. Yeah, well, it was like, what the heck is going on with these people? I don't know if the driver of the car got scared or freaked out, like, what am I supposed to do now, or intentionally try to run them off the road. According to the latest figures from the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration, fatalities from aggressive driving have increased 60% since 2011. About two-thirds of highway deaths are caused by aggressive driving. Listen, folks. When you are driving a car or a motorcycle, that is your life. That is your life. Your life can be lost in a matter of seconds when you are driving or when you're a pedestrian. If he cuts you off too bad, but you kicking the side of his wheel on his car or her car started that chain reaction. You kicked the side of the car, she or he went spinning and then went over here, crashed to another car, and he went flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping and what did you do? Did, you didn't stop. You didn't see if everything was okay. You kept going down. You kept going right down the road like nothing was happening. People like that should not have licenses. Like you need to take the city bus. Say it with me. City bus. City bus. Take the Uber. Take the Lyft. Take whatever you can to let somebody else drive you. But you be your behind should not have no license to drive. You're gonna kick somebody's car because you mad they cut you off. If you mad they cut you off, you shouldn't be driving. Should be driving because people are gonna cut you off, people are gonna be mad at you. You could you could have beefed at them, you could have switched another lane, plenty of not violent things you had to do. But as soon as you kick that car, you started it. And I hope the police find you and I hope the police charge you with Whatever they could charge you with, because that is wrong for you to do that. Wrong. Wrong. Just like it would be wrong if that car swerved into your lane you were coming into and hit you and put you on, 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 on the side of the concrete. That, that would have been wrong too. You don't have the right to do that. If they cut you off, slow down, change, 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 change to another lane, beep, beep, beep at as much as you want to. But you don't. Do that. Once you put your hand on somebody, feet on somebody's car, and then change your action, that's on you. That is on you. I don't know what's wrong with this man. That man should have a license. Have a license. I sound so afraid to drive. Why? Well, I don't drive. I take the bus everywhere because, first of all, I don't have $5,000 to give to a dealership to buy a car. Okay? I don't have my license. I have a permit. Okay? I don't ever want to drive. I don't have the money to drive. Why don't you get your license? Why don't you get your license? It's not like if I get my license, I'm automatically going to be able to do like what Bewitch used to do in the 60s and snap her fingers or wiggle her nose and get a car. No, I can't do that. 
And also with these maniacs on the road acting like they so quick, fast, in a hurry to get to a place. Uh-uh. I'd rather take the bus, a cab, Uber, Lyft, or front. I can't. I can't do all this driving mess. Maybe, maybe not right now, but I don't know. That was just wrong for him to do, and he should really feel guilt about what he did, causing that man to have to go to the hospital and get all those things done with his head, all those scrapes and stuff fixed. He should really feel bad. So, what you think about this in the comments below? Do you believe that the motorcyclist was in the wrong, or do you think the car was in the wrong? Tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching this episode of the Week of Words. It's been Nate Thank you for watching. See you next time.